Hello and welcome to the eCarillon training series. In this session we're going to talk about some of the features of the music library. In particular we're going to look at how to manage your music in your library. Um, if you haven't already seen it and you need help in bringing music into your library then you can look at another one of our videos on importing music into the library. So to get to the library again you've got two options. You can click on the library button on the home screen or go to view library okay so like I said I've already got some music in my library if you need help with that see the other video um, but in this case since we do have music in here I just want to go over some of the features that we've got that allow you to find music in your library more easily and also manage the the music list so obviously the the most prominent feature and the probably one of the more useful features uh, is the search feature. So if you put your cursor in the search box, you can quickly type in a string and hit enter, or you can come over and click search and you'll sort down to songs that contain, um, contain that word or, or phrase. Uh, it also will look through albums. So here we filter down. Let's do something a little a little less obvious so let's do the and you'll see now we've pulled up kind of a more broad list of things but it's filtering down to just those things now once it's filtered down to our search criteria we can also sort by clicking on the the header of each one of the columns and we can sort ascending or descending and you can see that by the icon there And you don't necessarily have to be um, filtered down to a search word. We can clear that out. You can still do filtering or sorry, sorting at, at any time. Now let's say that you had a music, um, a song in your music library that you didn't want in the library anymore, or maybe you pulled it in by mistake, uh, any of those kinds of things in order to get that song out of your library you'll need to select the song and then right click on your list now once I right click you'll see this context menu and there are a lot of options in here some we'll talk about now and others we will we'll talk about in a different video but as I was saying to remove a song we can select it and right click and hit remove from library or we can select the song and hit this minus sign up here to remove it. So I'm going to do that now. The program asked me to make sure that I want to remove it from the library. Once you do this, you won't be able to undo it. So make sure that this is what you want to do. If it is, then click OK. And it's gone from the library. We can also remove multiple files at once. So just like most programs, you can select multiple files by either holding control to select files individually or you can select and hold shift while you click to add a series of files so in this case I'm gonna add three files and again I can either right click and hit remove or I can hit the minus sign to remove them and there they're gone so that's how you remove songs now let's look at another feature. Let's say that you wanted to listen to a song because you don't remember how it sounds. You can simply select the song and hit this play icon or again you can right click and hit play now. And that will bring up the player. You can control volume from the player screen. You can mute the song. You can also grab the progress indicator to fast forward and rewind the normal player type features. Finally, one of the last features we'll talk about are for selection. So you likely wouldn't use this very often, but you can use the two icons up here to select all items in your library or deselect all items. So you might, might use this feature if you have a lot of 
or very few f files in your list and you want to uh, select most of them but not all of them or vice versa. So that pretty much completes all of the um, music library management features. So again, with the search feature, the sort feature, and the preview feature, you should be able to find out exactly what you want to play in your music library.